Hey everyone, the war in Ukraine took a turn for the worse this week, with yet another atrocity, this time in the form of Bono showing up for a concert. Locals of course tried to explain that they wanted the intervention of the UN, not U2, and it frankly wouldn't surprise me if some radioed in for the Russians to just bomb the event to put an end to it. Also in music-related news this week, Saturday saw Ukraine win the Eurovision Song Contest, and of course under the rules of the competition that means that next year's finals will be hosted in the new capital city, Moscow. Except it likely won't, with Russia now having lost a third of its ground forces and putting a performance so shoddy you half expect Jeffrey Boycott to be commentating on it. The only way I could envisage the Russians making fewer mistakes on the job is if they started showing up to work late. Here's another one for you. What do you call a distracted Russian general in Ukraine? Preoccupied. Russia has of course lost a huge slice of its senior generals and officers, both due to the war itself, but also likely due to Vladimir Putin having them surreptitiously killed in retaliation for dragging him into the mess. Six months ago this war looked like a pretty done deal, the equivalent of Manchester United taking on Accrington Stanley. And I don't really know much about football though, and just looking on things, United just lost 4 nothing to Brighton on Saturday, so perhaps that analogy still holds firm. What has been clear is that Putin is terminally ill, supposedly with leukaemia, and will almost certainly be dead by the end of the year. This war was very much a way for him to immortalise himself in Russian history, winning a glorious war before being cut down in his prime. Flash forward a couple months and I doubt he'd be able to capture a branch of Poundland, never mind Poland. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.